Hello, my name is Devani, and thanks so much for tuning into Short Not Sweet. This week I will be doing, I guess, kind of a haul, more of a collective haul of things I've been, you know, purchasing over the past couple of months to add to my collection. Um, I'll be checking a few things off of my luxury wish list that I posted a few months back. I'll link that below if you haven't seen it. We're going to be talking about things from Burberry, um, from Celine at the end, from Frame, from Zara, Anthropology, And I also want to talk about the Buy With Karma feature, if you've never heard of that, with the Karma app. So we're going to get into that. Let's go ahead and get started with the first item because I don't actually have it with me and it is my Burberry trench. I finally checked that off of my list. I ended up buying it from the real real second hand of course um, and I saved quite a bit of money doing so. So why is it not with me now? Because it is with Burberry getting reproof, like you can get it re-waterproofed. I think I'm gonna do a longer video on the whole process of buying it from the real real and all that jazz and sending it out with Burberry. Um, but I should get that back in about four to five weeks, I was told. So I'm gonna do that review when I um, get it back then. Um, but for right now, I saved quite a bit of money. I ended up paying around $577 and I'm really excited about it. I will show you pictures of me trying it on with the various, you know, outfits or whatever. I'm really excited to wear it this spring. And you know, I saved a lot from retail because retail, it's about $2,500. So yikes. So I'm really, <laughs> I'm glad that I ended up getting it secondhand. Now the next item that I want to check off, it's actually a bunch of items from Zara. Um, so we will start with this Zara denim jacket here. Um, you can't really see it, but the point is I have been wanting like a black, like I've been wanting some more layering pieces. Um, and I really wanted a black denim jacket. And so I got this black denim jacket from Zara. I think it was around like $49.90, you know, their, their little weird prices or whatever. And it's actually, it's pretty oversized. I got it in a size small. If it's still available, I will link everything below. Um, but it's very oversized, it's very comfortable. You know, it has like a very like exaggerated, it's cut very exaggerated in the shoulder. And I've just been hitting the ground uh, running with that thing. I think I bought it at the end of January and I just, you know, I've been wearing it so many different ways. So it's been a welcome addition to my wardrobe. The next thing I got, so I've been really obsessed with maxi skirts lately. Um, I have a denim one or I had a denim one already from The Gap, like a blue denim one. And I wanted to get them in different colors. So I wanted like a black and a white one. I picked up this one um, from Zara. It is, I guess it's in the color Egg Crew. It's Egg Shell, yes. And uh, it has like this really interesting like pleating detail. I don't know if you can see it here, but I'll be trying all this stuff on in the little cutouts. I actually wore that yesterday, so I had to pull that out of the hamper, y'all. Um, but I really love it. It's very, very long. Both of the maxi skirts I've gotten from Zara are very long also in a size small, which is my normal size, and they're very comfortable, like, it's kind of weird. Like, I was really worried about the sizing on all of these things, and they both fit, you know, fabulous. Um, again, it has this, like, really long split in the front as well, which I really wanted. And it's great, I'm really excited to wear it. It has belt loops, so I was able to, you know, pair it with a little beige belt or brown tan belt with it, and, I'll hit the ground running with it. I think it'll really be good in the summer, but as you can see, I've been wearing it in the in the fall. The, what, what season are we in now, chow? In the winter as well, and it was very cold yesterday when I wore it, so I would definitely recommend it. Again, it'll be linked below. The next item, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to wear this. I have not been able to wear this out in the wild yet, but it's this like little like mini skirt, this mini cargo skirt. I'm obsessed with cargo everything right now. And Zara has this like tiny <laughs> uh, cargo skirt. And oh my gosh, this thing is also a size small, but I think it almost fits like a little big. And like I have, I got a lot of thigh meat y'all. I got a lot of thigh meat and it's, it's fine. It's not, you know, it's a mini skirt, but it's not like, it doesn't have me out here looking crazy. It's not doing too much. Love it, absolutely love it. If it's still in stock, I would so recommend it. It has these cute little pockets on it. I just, the wash of denim is perfect. I paired it with like my um, denim oversized jacket that I have from Target. It's fabulous, it's fabulous. I can't say enough about it. I think it was, I think that one was about 45. I'm putting up the prices, don't worry about it. Um, but I, if it's not, if it's out of stock, I would sign up to see, because I know sometimes with Zara you could sign up for restocks. I would definitely sign up for that one. That one is a winner. It is a winner for sure. The last thing that I have from Zara is this denim maxi skirt. And again, I told you I was looking for it in black too. And Zara had this one and it has this interesting detailing um, around the waistline and the pockets. It's also in the back here. 
And rather than have the split in the front, it has the split, uh, hold on. It has the split in the back. Um, and because it has that silver detailing on it, I like, I liked uh, my idea of wearing it. I think I'm gonna wear it with like my silver cowboy boots. I think that's gonna be really good. And that's how I'm styling it in the cutaways here. I also really wanted a black maxi skirt that would match with um, my black denim jacket that I got from Zara. And they're not a perfect match, but I think they're close enough. Like they do exactly what I need them to do. I don't need to purchase anything else. I'm done. I have checked both of those off the list and I'm happy with them. Um, but this denim maxi skirt or this black denim one, I think it also will work like more casually, like without the jacket like especially in the summer just like a little crop top some sneakers i'm just really excited to wear all of these items in the summer i, I just love the summer that's really what it is that's really <laughs> that's really what it is um next on the list i'm sure you have seen the bottega veneta drop earrings that have really taken the internet by storm um they look like they're basically like a molten water drop that the girls are like wearing in their ear um there it's all over it's all over the internet but those retail for around like a thousand dollars. I think there's a smaller size that's like 800 and something dollars. Just a crap ton of money. And I was, you know, I've been interested. I love, I always have loved a statement earring, but I really want something other than hoops. I have a lot of hoops. I have a lot of like, like drop earrings, but like just kind of like almost like chandelier-y kind of earrings. So I wanted something different and I really like the look of these Bottega earrings. Um, so I wanted to try them out. So I found these dupes on Anthropology. This is in the silver. I'm wearing them in the gold. Um, and I just love them. I, I originally bought the silver ones because I feel like you can find a lot of salmon earrings in gold, but sometimes it's it's really hard to find them in silver. Um, and I just, I went in the store to pick them up in the silver and then I saw the gold ones and I said, you know what girl, let me have these as well. Now these retail for, let me see, these are $38 which is kind of pricey for costume jewelry, or at least that's how I feel. But then again, the Bottega ones are $1,000 and the girls are paying that. Although a difference, they're not exact dupes. Like the, the Bottega ones really do look like, you know, a water droplet. And these are a de definitely a different shape. They're hollow in the back, but I really like that about them. Um, I'm not sure if you could really see that it was hollow, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but they're hollow in the back and I really like that because that means they're not really heavy and heavy earrings really bother me. So I, I would not have been able to do anything that's like really pulling on my ears. These are not what you would say light. You would not call these light, um, but they're still kind of, they're giving you a look and they're not just really bringing your ears down. I'll show you the back on these two. They're not, you can replace the back. Oh, I, why is it so blurry? I'm gonna do a cutaway. I'm gonna go ahead and do a cutaway so that you can see the backing on these. Um, there, you can get ones with backing that are a little bit bigger, uh, like the circle backing, so it's a little bit more supportive. Um, and I might, I might go ahead and do that with these, but I'm wearing them now. I've been wearing them for like a, maybe an hour or so now, and I'm still really comfortable in these. So these are definitely a dupe that I would recommend because I think they give you the look for less. And I just, you know, they're not the exact same thing. It's not trying to pretend to be the Bottega ones, but they're definitely making a statement, you know, without, you know, being an exact replica of the Bottega ones. So I don't know, I'm really enjoying these and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use of them, out of them, especially because I have them in both the gold and the silver. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about are what I don't, some jeans that I don't have here. Uh, and they were some jeans by Kate. They're the Kate Preen pants. Um, and they were in a black, I'm really looking for a black straight leg jean. Now I had originally bought these on Netta Porter via the buy with karma. So if you have the karma app or the karma, like Chrome extension, like installed on your computer, a lot of times when you're shopping different places, you'll see like the price that the, the store has. And then you'll also see like the buy with karma price. And so I had seen like these pants on Netta Porter cost around, I think 160? Yeah, they were 160 on sale. And then buy with Karma was like 142. And I was like, well, you know, I'm not a mathematician, but 142 is less than 160. So let me go ahead and see what they're talking about. And so I went ahead and tried to buy it through there. I clicked the little button. It took me to the Karma website. Um, I also had some Karma cash. Cause you know, when you use Karma, they like, they're basically tracking your, your browsing history. That's basically what they're doing. And they offer you coupon codes when you're buying things. And so I think just from, you know, continuously using this app, continuously going through their website, 
I'm, you know, I'm racking up cash. So I had like $28 of karma cash, whatever that is. And then I had like some additional savings. So what it ended up being was $130 for these jeans, including tax, which was a great deal because if I would have bought it through Netta Porter, it would have been 174, including tax. So I said, you know what? I'm ahead of the game. This is great. So I got an email like maybe a couple hours later, your, your order has been confirmed. Thank you so much. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is working. This is fabulous. I love Kate anyway. This is going to be great. The next day I got an email, your order has been canceled. It could not be processed or whatever. Now this, now if this was one time this had happened to me, I would be like, okay, you know, it was a fluke. No, I also tried to buy my Burberry trench on the real real using the buy with karma and the same thing happened. Matter of fact, it never even confirmed my order. It just sat there pending for hours and hours. And then the next day I got an email, your order has been canceled. And thank God after it was canceled, it was still available on the site so I could buy that trench. But you know, with these jeans, I wasn't that pressed about them. And I ended up trying them on yesterday in store and I'm really glad that I didn't end up getting them. But still like, you know, you think you're getting something and you think you're getting a deal and then it doesn't end up working out and there's really no explanation as to why. So I just wanted to mention that in this video, I do not recommend using that feature. Do not use buy with karma. I'm t if it's, well, no. If it's something that you're just thinking about on a whim and you'll save a couple of bucks with it and it's not important if you get it or not, try it out. If it's, if it's something super important to you, just pay the extra money because you, you probably won't get the thing and it might sell out and you're gonna be mad do not use Bible Karma. I'm sorry I had to say that. This is obviously not sponsored by them because I'm talking crap, but I'm for real. Do not use that thing. Okay, next in the haul is Frame. Frame had a President's Day sale a few, obviously last month during pre when it was President's Day in February. And I got two things. The first thing I got was these jeans. Again, you can't see them here, but they are the Frame long barrel jeans. I've been looking for more um, straight leg jeans. I have a lot of wide leg jeans, but I've, I'm trying to incorporate some straight leg jeans in my wardrobe as well. I love those so much. I they uh, I think they retail for around I don't even know like two something, but I ended up getting them on sale for like one thirty with the I think that included sales tax. So I love those, and I think they might still be on sale. Not with now with the additional thirty percent off. I think they're like one eighty now, but still a lot less than retail. And now I want them in black. I love those. Mm, I love those jeans so much. They make my legs look long. I look tall in those, y'all. I love them so. <laughs> I love them so, so much. The next thing I got from Frame is these pink satin cargo pants. I'm obsessed with cargo pants, and I have been obsessed with these particular cargo pants for quite some time. Um, they come in a plethora of colors. You can get them in um, black. I think they're in like an icy blue now. They might have like an off white, like just so good they're fabulous um and i think they retail for around 428 but i ended up getting them on sale for what was it 228 including tax just it was a really great deal um they let me tell you so oh and both of these actually i want to say frame for me runs small so i'm generally a size 27 or a small or a size four and these i sized up so i got the the um the denim ones, the long car, the long barrels, I got those in a 28 and I'm so glad I did because that's even a little tight. I might even size up if I buy the black, the black pair. And I bought the cargos in a size six. I had also ordered the size four, just you know, in case the size six didn't work, I wanted to make sure I got that discount, girl. And um, I tried the six came in the mail the day before the four, and I tried on the six, and I was like, nope, we're sending those four back before the fours even came in the mail. I was like, yeah, they can go ahead and go back. So I am, I would just, okay, I, I'm gonna speak for myself and my body frame runs small for me so i would recommend sizing up but everybody's different and frame has free returns so go ahead and try it out figure out what works best for you um those cargos they also run really long um and i had to get them hemmed to get a couple of inches taken off but i think they're fabulous now um and i did want to say about the barrel leg jeans because they're straight leg jeans i don't really mind if they're a little long they might like pull a little bit but i think they're i think it's fine so i don't mind that those are a little bit long on me they're great. I, this is my. These are my first purchases from Frame, and I would recommend them so much. I, I enjoy both of those pants, and I'm definitely gonna buy more from that brand in the future. 
And last, I teased it, and now it is time to show you um, my Celine uh, purchase. It is this Celine Triumph belt. Um, I guess I should have like teased it a little bit longer. Why did I tell you before I opened it? <laughs> <laughs> but this was also on my 2023 luxury wish list. I had been looking for a belt with um, gold hardware um, and I had just fallen in love with this particular little logo. I guess I really like a logo that looks more like a design than a logo um, rather than just like the F or Fendi or something like that when it comes to belts. I love logo in terms of like maybe hats and shoes, but for some reason like clothing and, and like uh, belts, I really want something a little bit more cutesy or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Different different strokes for different people, right? Different. You get it, it's fine. <laughs> so anyway, this is the Celine Triumph belt. Um, has a little logo. It's. The, all the light is really messing with it and you know, whatever. Um, it has like the little thing to go in the little belt holes here. I've got this in a size 85, which is my normal size in belts. I think belts are usually sized pretty consistently, um, but I do want to get additional holes put on here. There are, what is this, five holes? I guess that's the standard number of holes but it's a little bit loose even on the last hole. So I think that I will get additional holes put in it. Um, yeah, I'll probably do like maybe a little bit more of an in-depth and unboxing and all that drama and like a YouTube short here. Um, but just for the sake of this, I would definitely recommend it. This is the size, this is the medium size. I know that it comes a little bit smaller, but this is already thin enough, child. If it was any thin, like I can't, you wouldn't be able to see the darn thing if it was any thinner. But it comes in not, it comes in a small and it comes in a teen, which must just tiny. I, I don't understand it, but you know what? People have different needs in their wardrobe, so maybe that would work. These also come in multiple colors. You can get it in like a tan, like a brownish tan. Uh, I think it comes in like I don't know, kind of a monogram or something like that. Selena has a lot of different options. This retails for $670. It's a ridiculous price, but I really wanted it so bad. I really, really wanted it. And I figured, you know, I was downtown yesterday. I was like, you really could use this in your wardrobe. And you know, you saved a lot of money with your trench. So maybe just go ahead and, and go for it with the Celine Triumph belt. Okay, that is all for me. If you have any questions about any of these things that I've shown you, please feel free to ask. Um, most of these I've, I've worn almost everything I've shown you, I think, or at least half of it I've been wearing so I could tell you my experiences if I haven't already answered it in this video. Um, that was all for me. I hope that this was helpful and a lot of fun to watch. If it wasn't, if you consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. You can also check me out at shortnotsweet.com. I will be updating that website very soon, I promise. <laughs> you can also see outfit inspiration on my Instagram and TikTok at shortnotsweetdevany. Thank you so, so much for watching and please take care of yourself. Bye.